Hey, hey, hey. What's up with it, y'all? It's your girl, Melanated Essential, and I'm back with another episode of Celestially Guided Intuitive Reads. I have a six-card spread in front of me, and I have been instructed to deliver this reading to the collective. So let's just tap right on in, family. All right, y'all. So right off top, what I'm getting is this message is for Divine Masculine. Yes, it's funny because yesterday I did a, a, a spread for Divine Feminine. This one's literally for Divine Masculine. First card out, Divine Masculine. Okay. God said it's time to put the weed down. <laughs> I'm coming for some divine masculines right now. And if you're if you're a divine feminine and you smoke weed and you are ascending right now in this time period that we are in, it's time to let go of low vibrational things. If you know you smoke, but you're ascending and you're and you're growing and elevating spiritually, you have to let it go because it's it's going to turn that very thing is not that thing when you ascend spiritually. Low vibrational stuff will harm your vessel, your your mind, body, and soul. So when you were in a low vibration, it was okay to entertain weed. Now that you're growing and ascending spiritually and your spiritual gifts are enhancing and your eyes are becoming opened, you cannot continue to entertain that because it's going to be more harmful than it is good. Um. So... Divine Masculine, God, the Most High God said it's time to put the weed down. Pull your energy back from entertaining and consuming low vibrational people, places, and things. There is a season for everything under the heavens, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. So there's a season to get high and there's a season to detox. (laughs) Discover your God-given purpose. When are you going to get serious about your life, Divine Masculine? Now, that was the sixth card. So that was six cards. The first one, Divine Masculine. The second one is God said it's time to put the weed down. The third one is pull your energy back. The fourth one is there is a season for everything under the heavens, according to Ecclesiastes chapter three. The fourth card is discover your God given purpose. So it's like once you put the weed down, you'll actually discover your purpose. Now, I'm not going to say that it has to happen like that, but where we are and where you are spiritually It's going to take for you to sacrifice something. You cannot put old wine into new wine skins, divine masculine and divine feminine. You cannot take old ways of thinking, old ways of being, old ways of living, old ways of of coexisting or existing or coping. You can't take those ways into this new era, this new dimension, this new season that you're going into. It's foolish of a person to think that they can take old behaviors into new new doors opening like why why would the most High even allow you to go through a door if you can't even sacrifice something that's really harming you for real that you convinced yourself is helping you you already you, you convinced yourself somebody needs to change their perspective there's a divine masculine out there that feel like they was born with weed in their mouth like a blunt literally in their mouth when they came out the womb and they feel like god told them that this is a part of their dna I don't know what culture, what country y'all from or y'all was raised or you connect with, but the most high God don't need nothing outside of you to enhance anything within you. It, it this, that You programmed yourself to believe that you need drugs and alcohol. It helps you in some type of way. That's where the problem is. You build your belief system. You're starting to believe that without it, you can't function. That's a belief system that can be changed. Same way you woke up out of Christianity and realized that you was the chosen people of God, that your belief system used to be something completely different. Now you believe something completely different. So how can that, how can that be possible for something as big and major as that, but it's not possible for you to believe that this weed is your enemy and not your friend? How come you can't change your belief system when it comes to this marijuana, divine masculine, divine feminine? So anyways, y'all need to... Y'all need to um, meditate on this. You are being asked to put the weed down, divine masculine. You need to pull your energy back from it. Your whatever you put before God is your God. If you wake up and run to it, if you get stressed and run to it, if you feel like you can't live without it, you can't go a day without it. That is your God. You have made that an idol in your life. And that's who you serve. You don't serve the most high God. You serve that thing because your dedication and faithfulness and loyalty to it. So, yes, Divine Masculine, this is a warning. The Most High God is asking you to put it down and pull your energy back because there is a season for everything under the heavens. There's already been a season for you to get high and and, and, and change your belief system concerning it and feel like it's a part of your DNA. Now we're in a new season. There's a time to live and there's a time to die. There's a time to get high and there's a time to get sober. We're in a season where it's time to get sober. 
so you can discover your God-given purpose. Obviously, the weed is clouding somebody's judgment. It's messing with somebody's brain, chemical imbalances, bringing anxiety, certain levels of fear, poor communication. People don't understand what weed really does to the brain. They just feel like it helps. But once you change your belief system and you look at it as an enemy instead of a friend, then you'll be free from it. You'll be able to be free. It's all about how you see it, how you, what you believe about it. All right, you guys, this has been your reading. If you like the way that I read, tap in with me on a personal level. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Love and light, family.